Good morning, y'all, and welcome to Royer's Corner. Listen, I done told y'all we got to stay out of Florida, and those of us who live in Florida, we got to be careful because this stand on my ground law, um, these people are just using it to do whatever, whenever, however they want to, and we are not having it. We are calling justice for I. Jack Owens, and we want Suzanne Lor uh, Lorenzic, whatever her last name is, to be thrown under the jail. Let's get into this intro, and then we'll talk about this story that we will receive justice for. I'm naming it and claiming it. Justice for Ajike Owens. Good morning and welcome to Warrior's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm so glad that you decided to join me again on this great Wednesday. Please remember to hit the like button on this video. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section so we can keep the conversation going. And if you have not, subscribe to my channel. And once you subscribe, hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. And the people have been saying they have not been getting my notifications. So what I the only thing I can tell you to do is go to my channel, turn the notification bell off, and then go back and turn it back on on all and see if that works for you. So thank you for joining me this morning. Unfortunately, we are coming with unfortunate sad news, but there is going to be an outcome of positivity in this story because I do believe that justice will be served for Adjike Owens, okay? So white woman, this is from the Washington Post, white woman who shot black neighbor through door is arrested. Justice for Adjike Owens, okay? So a white woman accused of shooting and killing black neighbor, 35-year-old Adjike o A.J. Owens, over a dispute involving Owens' children has been arrested in Marion County, Florida. First of all, Thank you, Marion County, for actually doing what it needed to be done and arresting this woman. Now, though the arrest didn't happen immediately because of the stand your ground laws, and I want everybody to have this understanding, because of the stand your ground laws in Florida, they had to do a full investigation to prove that this woman was not just protecting herself, but she was actually taking out someone who did not deserve to be taken out because there was no wrongdoing and there was there was nothing that Ajay did to Suzanne to cause her to give her this pow pow you know for this pow pow situation to happen okay so uh Suzanne Lewis Lorenzic uh Lorenzic whatever her last name is 58 was charged Tuesday with manslaughter with a firearm um, culpable ne negligence, battery, and two counts of assault, uh, the Marion County Sheriff's Office said. Okay, so I'm glad that they have put some real charges on this woman because real damage has been done to this family. This what mom of two, I believe, is gone and cannot come back to raise these two beautiful black boys that she has. Hmm. The justice we have all see, been seeking has been served, Sheriff Billy Wood said in a video posted Tuesday on social media. The arrest came amid growing pressure from Owens family and local politicians for stronger responses to, the, to what lawyers representing the family called unjustful killing. And so this was an unjustful killing, y'all. So let's get into what exactly happened and, the, and what is determining that this is an unjustful killing. Because from what I've read and from what I understand, definitely injustice. There was no need for a pow-pow to be involved in this situation. None at all. 
but let's get into it. Around 9 p.m. Friday, deputies received a call about possible um, trespassing at a property on in Alcala. I know I said that wrong. Sorry. Florida, about 40 miles south of Gainesville. Woods said Monday during a news conference when the officer arrived, they found a woman later identified as Owen suffering from uh, pow pow wounds, Woods said. They tried to save her, but she later passed, Woods said. So rest in peace to her and prayers to her children, prayers to her mother, her family, her friends, prayers to you all for over here from Royer's world, because I cannot imagine. And I will truly be praying that God brings comfort during this time of loss, during this time of sorrow, during this time of injustice. I am definitely praying and my my community will definitely be praying for you as well and the fam and the Owens fan friends and family. Following a major crime unit investigation, which which included in interviewing with Owens' children and other witnesses and uncovered surveillance footage and other forensic and digital evidence, detectives concluded that over a period of time, uh, Suzanne had become angry at Owens' children who were playing in a field close to her home, Okay. So not in her house, not on her property, but close to her home. On Friday night, according to sheriff office, sheriff's office, uh, Suzanne engaged in an argument with the children and was overheard yelling at them by a neighbor. Now, why are you arguing with children at 58 years old? I would never know. Throwing a roller skate at Owen's 10-year-old son that hit him in the toe. She also swung at Owen's son and his brother with an umbrella when they attempted to speak to her, the office said. When the children notified their mother, Owens approached Suzanne's home, knocked on the door multiple times, and demand that Suzanne come outside, the sheriff's office said. Um, I want you to come outside because you have threatened my children. You have violated my children. You have assaulted my children. And we got to have a conversation. Suzanne then fired one shot through the door, striking Owens in her upper chest. The, the sheriff's office said, adding that Owens was fatally pow pow with, the with her 10-year-old son standing by her side. Ooh, y'all. There are going to be special prayers from me personally for her children and especially this 10-year-old son who had to watch his mom literally be pow-powed in front of his face and, and, and probably pass away in front of his face, literally, okay? According to the sheriff's office, Suzanne told investigators that she and Owens had a past history of uh, animosity and claimed that Owens previously attacked her. She said that she acted in self-defense in shoot and pow powing Owens and that Owens had been trying to break down her door prior to her discharging her firearm, the office said. You know, if you threw some roller, sk roller skates at my kids and you were swinging umbrellas and stuff, I would probably be trying to break down your door too. Now, not to say that it's justified, and, and I don't know that this is what actually happened. This is just what Owens is saying happening. But, you know, I would be upset. You assaulted my children, not once, but twice, both of my children. <sighs> Woods previously said that before making an arrest in this case, which Woods is the sheriff, uh, um, head sheriff, his office had to determine whether the shooter, uh, the Pow Powers uh, response was justified under Florida stand your ground law. Okay, I'll get back to that in a minute which states that a person can use uh, deadly force if they reasonably believe it could prevent imminent death or great, uh, great bodily harm to himself or herself or another. 
Following their investigation, detectives were able to establish that Suzanne's actions were not justifiable under Florida's laws, and the sheriff's office said, uh, excuse me, the sheriff's office said, let me read that again. Following their investigation, detectives were able to establish that Suzanne's actions were not, were not justified under Florida's law. So since we now know that they were not justified, we need to make sure that when this goes to trial, that a guilty verdict, if this goes to trial, that a guilty verdict, because I don't know if they're just going to, you know, find her guilty or if they, this will have to go to trial, but we'll find out. But a guilty verdict needs to be passed down on all charges because in this article, they state Suzanne's actions were not justified under Florida's law. Secondly, this stand your ground law is out of order to me anyways. And the stand your ground law came around right about the time after, um, gosh, uh, Trayvon Martin. After that whole situation, then we started getting some standing our ground laws and we can do whatever we want to do in Florida. But I'll digress. The case prompted calls for a quick arrest amid protests in the community. Some Florida Democrats also called for the woman to be charged. Attorneys responding, uh, re uh, representing Owen's family said in a statement that they were relieved to learn that the of the arrest, but they urged it took too long. Um, sorry, they uh, argued that it took too long and blamed the delay on uh the laws like stand your ground and and that's ridiculous uh a ajac did not have a pow pow she didn't have a, a knife she didn't she she wasn't violent from what i'm understanding i don't hear any violence from what the officers are telling and what the police report has said they said that she knocked on the door multiple times asking uh suzanne to come outside Where's the violence? Where's the threat? Where's the stand your ground? I don't see it. What does it say when a person can uh, pow pow and uh, take out an unarmed mother in the presence of her young children and not immediately uh, taken into custody, question and charge? They said in a statement, how dare they? On Tuesday, Woods, the sheriff's office, applauded the work and his department that led to Suzanne's arrest and criticized what described as um, efforts to rush his office. Um, the laws in the state of Florida are clear, he said. Rushing in to make an arrest is not the right thing to do sometimes. In fact, it can probably cause complications or, or cause errors. Woods described Florida Stand Your Ground Law as a great law designed to help Floridians to define themselves, excuse me, to defend themselves and keep themselves safe. However, he said the law did not apply to the pow powing of Owens. It was simply a um killing he said justice uh justine oh, okay so justine mcdowell contributed to this report so you know the sheriff he stands by the stand your ground law which i don't understand why because i i just don't feel like it's necessary to me like oh man i never opened up the article i'm so sorry everyone i am so so sorry so here's the article that I was reading. I thought I had opened it before I clicked over. I just clicked over to the link. But here's the article I was reading, everyone. I'm going to put this in the description box. I cannot believe I forgot to pull up the article. I do apologize. But here is Ajax Owens. Um, and so this is just a sad, sad story, y'all. This is a horrible situation. I hate that this has happened. But we are going to get justice for Ajax Owens because, like they said, this is stand your ground. This was not a stand your ground situation. This lady did nothing to you. She came to your house after you assaulted her children. She knocked on your door and then you decided to pow pow through the door. No, ma'am, Suzanne, we are demanding the full 30 year sentence because her charges can go up to 30 years. I was reading in another article. Um, 
yeah, so she, she's got to go. She got to go. Get Suzanne out of here. Get her under the jail. And we are praying for justice for A. Jack Owens. We are praying for the Owens family. We are putting special prayers out for um, A. Jack Owens' children, especially her nine-year-old son who had to watch his mother be pow pow in front of his face. This is damaging for him for life. That image will never get away from him. He will remember that for the rest of his life. So Suzanne, straight to the clink clink. Under the jail, you shall be. And I'm calling for 30 years. You're 58 now. Get her up out of here. We might as well go on and put her in there for the rest of her days. She got to go. She's got to go. How dare you, ma'am? Y'all, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Please, if you can for me, under this video, hashtag justice for Ajack Owens. We want justice, full justice. Hashtag full justice for Ajack Owens. We want to see it happen. We want to see it come to pass, y'all. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Please, if you do not live in Florida, stay out of Florida. And for those of you who do live in Florida, I don't even know what to tell you. Protect yourself. Stay indoors. Hide your wife. Hide your children. Hide everybody. Because it's not safe. It is not safe. And these people, specifically white people, think they can do whatever, whenever, however they want to do it down there. And we are not having it. Justice will be served on our watch. In this case and every other case that has not been served, I'm praying for justice. We're still praying for justice for Shanquilla Robinson. We're praying. Y'all, leave your comments and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. And once you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Please forgive me as I forgot to pull up the article, but I appreciate you all for joining me in Royer's Corner today, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!